Max 9788 Boosted Amplifier for Ceramic Speaker Drive Maxim. Welcome to the training module on Maxim Max 9788 Boosted Amplifier for Ceramic Speaker Drive. This training module will give an overview on the design considerations for driving ceramic speaker and the operation of the Max 9788G amplifier. Today's portable devices drive a need for smaller, thinner and more power efficient electronic components. Cell phone form factors have become so thin that the traditional dynamic speaker has become the limiting factor in how thin manufacturers can make their handsets. Ceramic or piezoelectric speakers can quickly become a viable alternative to dynamic speakers. Ceramic speakers can deliver competitive sound pressure levels in a thin and compact package, potentially replacing traditional voice coil dynamic speakers. Amplifier circuits the drive ceramic speakers have different output drive requirements from those that drive traditionally dynamic speakers. The construction of the ceramic speaker requires that the amplifier be able to drive a large capacitive load and supply increasingly larger currents at higher frequencies while maintaining high output voltage. An amplifier chosen to drive a ceramic speaker must be able to deliver both blind and real power to the complex load. Class G amplifiers offer the best balance between solution cost, component count and efficiency than the traditional Class AB amplifier. Class G amplifiers have two voltage rails, one high and one low. The low voltage rail is used when the output signal is small. The high voltage rail is switched onto the output stage when the output signal demands a higher voltage swing. Because of its low power supply rail, the Class G amplifier is more efficient than a Class AB amplifier when the output signal is small. The Class G amplifier can still handle peak transients because of the higher available rail. The Max 9788 is a Class G amplifier specifically designed to drive the high capacitive load of piezoelectric loudspeakers. It is known that the battery life is one of the most important design criteria in mobile phone designs. Moreover, the amplifier efficiency is also essential for an optimal audio solution. Responding to these design challenges, the MAX 9788 utilizes fully differential inputs and outputs, comprehensive click and pop suppression, shutdown control and soft start security to provide an efficient, compact and low cost solution. It integrates an inverting charge pump power supply which provides up to 14 volt peak to peak drive from a single lithium ion battery. It is available in small lead-free 28-pin TQFN that's 4mm into 4mm or 20 bump WLP 2mm into 2.5mm packages. The MAX 9788 Class G amplifier is a linear amplifier that operates within a low and high supply range. For small signals, the device operates within the lower supply range. In this range, the operation of the device is identical to a traditional single supply class AB amplifier. As the output signal increases, so a wider supply is needed. The device begins its transition to the higher supply range for the large signals. As the output signal continues to increase, the transition to the high supply is complete. The device then can operate in the higher supply range where the operation of the device is identical to a traditional dual supply class AB amplifier. During operation, the output common mode voltage or the MAX 9788 adjusts dynamically as the device transitions between supply ranges. The MAX 
9788 features a differential input configuration making the device compatible with many codecs and offering improved noise immunity as compared to a single ended input amplifier. In devices such as PCs, noisy digital signals can be picked up by the amplifier's input traces. The signals appear at the amplifier's inputs as common mode noise. A differential input amplifier amplifies the difference of the two inputs and signals common to both inputs are cancelled out. In differential input configurations, the common mode rejection ratio is primarily limited by the external resistor and capacitor matching. The MAX 9788 Class G amplifier features Maxim's comprehensive industrial leading click and pop suppression. During startup, the click and pop suppression security eliminates any audible transient sources in tunnel to the device. The onboard inverting charge pump generates a negative rail to power the output stage, allowing the output bias point of the device to be set at zero volts and to be able to swing both positive and negative around zero volts to reproduce audio in the headphones. The bias point when active powered up is at zero volts. The default state when inactive power down is also zero volts. Therefore, the problematic but necessary shift between the two states has much less effect on the headphone DC bias and subsequently on the user's ears. Ceramic speakers are much more capacitive than a conventional loudspeaker. The high output voltage requirement coupled with the capacitive nature of the speaker demand that the amplifier supply much more current at higher frequencies than at low frequencies. The charge pump current limit of the MAX 9788 allows for a flat frequency response out to 20 kHz while maintaining high output voltage swings. A 10 ohm series resistance is recommended between the amplifier output and the ceramic speaker load to ensure the output of the amplifier sees some fixed resistance at high frequencies when the speaker is essentially an electrical shot. Though a ceramic speaker itself does not dissipate real power as heat like dynamic speakers do, Heat is generated in the driving amplifier's output stage and in the external resistor placed between the amplifier and the speaker. The larger the external resistor, the more power dissipation is moved off the amplifier at the expenses of low frequency response. When driving a ceramic speaker with the 10 ohm series resistor, one can see that blind power is a small contribution to the overall load power. Most of the power is dissipated in the external resistor as shown by the required amplifier power delivery versus frequency graph. Here is the typical application circuit. The AC coupling capacitors C in and input resistors R in form high pass filters that remove any DC bias from an input signal. The AC coupling capacitor blocks DC voltages from the amplifier input. The value of the flying capacitor C1 affects the load regulation and output resistance of the charge pump. A C1 value that is too small degrades the device's ability to provide sufficient current drive. Increasing the value of C1 improves load regulation and reduces the charge pump output resistance to an extent. To summarize, the need for low profile ceramic speakers is fueled with the increasingly thinner portable devices. These speakers are different than traditional dynamic speakers, so a different set of design considerations apply. The ceramic speaker's capacitive nature 
requires that the amplifier have a high output voltage and a large output current so that high voltage can be maintained over frequency. Amplifier efficiency must be high enough to allow for a small solution size and low cost. Class G amplifiers offer the best balance between solution cost, component count and efficiency as compared to traditional class AVA amplifiers.